Hey guys, it's Emily, and this is part two of my Gabby Douglas figure, and the reason I had to do this part two is because my camera, like, just totally stopped, and I didn't hear it stop, like, I didn't have enough data anymore on my phone, so I had to delete a couple videos, older ones. Um, so I wanted to show you how to make the bow for Gabby and which side you want to do it on. So if you just if you just want it to look like this, if you just don't want her to have a bow or anything, um, you can just you don't have to watch this. But if you um, didn't and stopped because the video stopped, uh, my camera, sorry about that. So I'm going to show you how to do the bow. And so all you need is your loom, and it's really simple. So you're just going to take three rubber bands and go down anywhere on your loom and then you're going to need a black rubber band and that's what I used for her hair and you're just going to go under and act like you're making a slip knot like this and just pull it through like that and then you can just take it off of the loom and this is going to be a really short video because yeah but so here's the bow and if you want to even it out so it's in the middle do that so yeah here we go here's our bow and I'm sorry again but I'm gonna teach you which way you want her eyes to be facing so on this side you see how it looks like they're her little straps on her leotard are like this and this side it does it looks like it's just blending in this is the side you want her eyes to be facing out of because that's the main side. So when we put the bow on, we're just going to take the slip knot and wrap it around however many times. And I'm just doing three. So um, here's our little bow. And if you want it facing up, it's just going to take some adjusting. But here's her little bow on her bun. So I hope you like the bow. Uh, it's really easy to do. And... um. It's like a minute to do, but so that's the bow I did for her. Um, you can also use the bow I um I, I used just on the crochet hook if you want to use this bow and put it on. It'll probably be a little big for her head, but it's up to you. So this is a really short little video on how to do the bow and which way her straps will be facing. And I'm sorry, like my camera just totally stopped and I didn't even know. But so um this is part two. It's really easy, really um simple. So I hope you liked Gabby Douglas and um, if you like Gabby Douglas thumbs up this video and um, I'm sorry I haven't been active as much on my YouTube channel as I used to be but I am a full-time student and I am a full-time uh, soccer and sports player so I have um, like soccer practices and softball on days that I want to do videos so I'm sorry I haven't been as active as much lately but I try to have a, up at least one or two videos a, a week now. And I'm not going to say which days because I honestly have no idea myself. Because I don't know if a practice will get cancelled. I don't know what day if I might have just a friendly or anything like that. But So, um, sorry if I'm not as active as much I used to be. I try to get up as many videos I can a week. And that's probably going to be limited to one or two now. And if most, I might do three. But... Yeah, so um, I hope you like your Gabby Douglas. I hope you like the little bow that I did on her. And I um, really hope you like this figure. And I'm going to call it original because I'm the first one I, um, I've seen out on YouTube that has done like a um, Gabby Douglas figurine. And so comment down below what other... Um, what other like figures do you want to see like a specific person like this is just Gabby Douglas if you want to see someone else someone famous like Gabby Douglas like anybody let me know down in the comments what who you want to see so thank you guys so much for watching part two and part one of this Gabby Douglas figurine tutorial and remember comment like and subscribe and if you have any, um, like, people suggestions like this, like I made Gabby Douglas, if you have any, comment down below. Also, follow my Instagram, and I use hashtag EmilyHill17 to show me your creations that you've made using my tutorials. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, remember, follow my Instagram, it's at EmilyHill17, and use hashtag EmilyHill17 to show me your creations.
So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And happy looming.